This is Lafayette Square in Washington, a public park with a long history of protest, a short walk from the White House lawn. Americans have been testing that First Amendment right to free speech, and at times, bitter divisions drown out respectful discourse. We spent the afternoon at Lafayette Square today with political analyst Eric Ham to discuss the risk of that megaphone effect in American politics. Do you think there's anybody in America that could bring the country together right now? I don't even think Jesus Christ himself could bring America together. I don't think there's anyone at this moment who could bring the nation together. America's only salvation is if the, the hate that's driving our politics, it has to die out. No one's going to snuff it out. No one's going to change the situation. I think it has to die out. How pivotal are these midterms? I think the question is, are we going to see American democracy continue, or will this be, will this election be the confirmation that American democracy is on the decline in the United States? So it's a very pivotal election, because I think the question is, does democracy hold, or are we seeing democracy begin to eventually go away? Do you think that even after tomorrow, the results of these midterms will be accepted? <laughs> Here's how I'll answer that. We haven't even counted the first vote, and already we have a record number of lawsuits about this election. More than 110 lawsuits have already been filed, and we haven't counted one vote. So I think the answer to your question is, there will be people, depending on what the outcome is, who will not accept tomorrow's election. And with, if and when they don't accept it, how will they respond? That's the question. Donald Trump isn't even on the ballot for these elections tomorrow. What do you think it is about his message that is still resonating with millions of Americans? He speaks to an audience of people who feel like their voice has not been heard. He speaks for them. He speaks to them. He empowers them, and I think that moves people for good or for bad. And he's still a singular, powerful person in this country that can move the needle. Can he win? We saw that he could not. Will his party win tomorrow? Who knows? But nevertheless, he still shows that he's influential, that he will be, a, he will be integral in what happens tomorrow. He will be integral in what happens going forward in terms of who controls that building in 2024. And Donald Trump is going to be a player. He still is. When you look at what's happening in your country and the divisions that seem to be getting deeper, what do you think about this country's future? It's scary. It's scary. But you know, the United States has, has been through scary times before. We have seen whole cities burn to the ground, but we've seen no cities rebuilt. You know, it's possible America can pull itself back from this because we've seen it happen before. But when you say that I am not going to accept an election, which is the hallmark of democracy, in many ways you're saying I'm not going to accept democracy unless I control those levers of power. And if I don't control those levers of power, then I will respond violently even. That's a scary thing. That's a scary place to be for a nation.